Hey YouTube, welcome back to Just Fiddling Barbecue. I know that we're in the middle of the uh, side dish series. I've done three of those episodes so far. Um, but I did have a request from one of my subscribers to do uh, a cook, and so that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I thought it'd be something fun. Uh, Chris L., he asked me to um, see if I could do a, a, a cook or a video on some teriyaki chicken kebabs and uh, so I told him I would and that's really uh, a neat request because I already do a teriyaki chicken uh, probably once every couple of weeks here at the house anyway I make my own teriyaki sauce and I call it a teriyaki sauce it's probably not a traditional teriyaki but to me it kind of tastes like it so that's what I call it um, but I'll show you how to make it um, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm fixing to show you uh, what kind of ingredients that we have going into it, uh, and then we'll get started. All right, guys, first off, let's talk about uh, the skewers. Uh, we're gonna go big today. I'm going with bamboo, bamboo skewers, and you could use these kind of skewers if you wanted to, but on Just Peeling Barbecue, we're not gonna do that. We're going with skewers, these big ones. And I'm gonna use these kebabs in a way that we're, we're just gonna skewer the whole uh, chicken thigh. Uh, and then leave the vegetables pretty much in big hearty chunks as well Now for the uh, marinade uh, I've done this marinade once before using some chicken breasts and some uh, salmon and I'll put that in a e-card up here for you uh, So check that one out this marinade is really good on any kind of fish, but it's really good on a, a good piece of salmon So uh, you can give that a try as well. So check out that video uh, but for this marinade, uh, it's going to go with equal parts of soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and sugar. So really, when I first started this sauce, uh, a staff sergeant that I was serving in the Marine Corps with, he would bring it over for card games that we'd play on Friday nights, and he would make this chicken. And that's where it started from, uh, Staff Sergeant Terry. And all he would do is put a cup of each in a bowl, stir it up until the sugar dissolved, put his chicken in there, marinate it as long as he wanted to, and that was it. And over the years, I've kind of added a few things to it, but if you just wanted to start with that, that you can't mess it up. A cup, a cup, a cup, and you're good to go. Now I will say, depending on the soy sauce that you use, some soy sauces are a little bit saltier than others. So just be aware of that. And the longer that the chicken sits in there, the saltier that it may get. So after you do it once or twice, you'll kind of have a gauge as to how long uh, you needed to sit for your taste. Uh, but along with that, I'm gonna also add a little bit of crushed red pepper flake, a little bit of Italian seasoning. And the thing that I think kicks it up a little bit and adds a lot of flavor to it is some ground ginger. If you smell it, it smells, it's got kind of a lemony smell to it, really fresh. Uh, and so I'm going to add some of that to it. And that's your marinade, along with probably some ground pepper. Uh, but that's it, you don't want to add any salt. I'll show you how to do that. And as far as the chicken goes, I've got a couple of packs of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I love these. You could also use chicken breasts, just cut those up into chunks and then skewer those, it's the same thing. But I really like how the chicken thighs uh, come out with this marinade. They really soak it up. Now also with the skewers, 
I'm going to use some sliced or some chunked up uh, pineapples, some big chunks of uh, sweet onion and jalapenos that I've cut up. And I found some mini sweet bell peppers, and I'm just going to skewer the whole thing on there. So I'll show you how to do that when we get to it. But first, I'm going to make the marinade. Go ahead and put the chicken in the marinade and let it set up for an hour or two. All right, guys, now we're fixing to start the marinade. Uh, I've got one bottle of Worcestershire sauce going in. I've got soy sauce going in equal parts. And I've got one cup of sugar going in. And we can stir that up a little bit. And you want to really try to get this dissolved if you can. Now I'm going in with some red pepper flakes. Use as much or as little as you like. Also a little bit of Italian seasoning. Some ground ginger. and a little bit of black pepper. Now give that a good stir. Again, make sure you get the sugar dissolved if you can. Just add the chicken. Now what I do when I put that chicken in there is make sure that that if you do chicken thighs make sure the thighs spread out so that every part of that chicken thigh gets into the marinade. And now we're just going to let these chicken thighs sit in this marinade for probably an hour or two and uh, then we'll get them out and get the smoker going. All right, guys, we're gonna season up the vegetables real quick. And all I've got right here is a Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna put the onions and peppers in there. That's the onion and jalapenos. And now I'm going in with the mini bells. And all I'm going to do with this is pour some olive oil in there and then a little bit of Caribecue's lemon garlic seasoning. Go in there with that a little bit. And now all we're going to do is give that a shake. Make sure everything gets nice and coated and everything is seasoned well before we put them on the skewers. Now those should be ready to go. Alright, so now we're going to start putting everything on the skewers. Now when I do kebabs, I like starting off with a vegetable. going all the way to the end. That way you've got something on the end of the skewer to stop the meat from sliding off. Plus when you go to put it on the grill, you grab both ends and you're not touching raw meat when you go to put them on the grill. So I'm gonna start with a piece of onion. And now with the chicken, I'm gonna go on here and go through on one end and then come back through on the other end and then slide it down and that's how we're going to do them so they almost lay flat just like you would normally grill them on the grill now we've got 
and I want to go in with some pineapple to go right next to the meat right there and then one of these mini bell peppers right through the middle of them so that's how we're going to skewer these up let me get these put together and we'll be right back all right guys I've got them skewered up and these things look absolutely amazing I mean caveman style huge beautiful shish kebabs teriyaki chicken style now I've got three chicken thighs on each one of three of them and then the fourth one just has one chicken thigh on and I put the rest of the vegetables on those I've got the silver back knot beforehand I did clean it off, I replaced, I uh, uh, vacuumed it out, replaced the uh, tin foil on the drip pan, everything's clean and good to go. I've got 300 degrees set on the silverback pellet grill, and now we're fixing to go on. Look at those things right there. Nice sizzle. Right away, I can smell the pineapple cooking. And there we go, it's loaded up. Shut it down and let it go. At the end of the video, I'll let you know about how long it took to get these things done. Again, 300 degrees on the silverback. Alright folks, we have been at 300 degrees for about 45 minutes. I've checked the internals on the chicken thighs and they are done, ready to come off. Look at that. I wish y'all could smell it. Now we're fixing to take them in there, slide everything off on a big pan, kind of low country bowl style, and let everybody get what they want. All right, guys, this is what they look like when they come off. To recap, we've got boneless, skinless chicken thighs that we have cooked up with pineapple mini bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, onions, and we marinated the chicken in a teriyaki sauce and seasoned the vegetables up. And at 300 degrees for about 45 minutes on these kebabs, this is what you get. All right guys, this cook's done. Teriyaki chicken kebabs by request. Chris L, hope you enjoyed it. The flavors in the chicken is amazing. Please give this a try. Until next time, I'll be piddling.